Okay, awesome. I've been wanting to try a painting like this for a while. Um, to do it, you're gonna need a little canvas like this. It's not the typical fluid painting or flow art type painting where you just dump everything on the canvas. Um, this one, uh, we're actually gonna be using just a little bit of parchment color to make a background. That's all the brushing we'll be doing. When I videotaped the original one, I was in a real creative mode and I didn't record the full process of the painting. I just recorded certain steps. So what I did here was try and make another video that mimicked the original one just so you could see what I did. But it, it still shows you all the steps that I, I did to go through that. Um, so I added a little bit of flow troll and a little bit of distilled water to my paint. Flow troll is a paint conditioner and you can find this at Lowe's, Home Depot, um, some Walmarts and you can also order it on Amazon.com. And it's really nice to use because it helps thin your paint but again it is a paint conditioner. I think it helps your paint um, lay a lot more flat to the surface um, and it helps on drying times and helps keeps the paint more flexible so it doesn't crack and craze and all that and I wanted to tell you I won't be adding any silicone to this paint it's just going to be the artist loft paint some Liquitex paint and some Liquitex professional heavy body acrylic paints and these are uh, gloss paints they're not matte finishes so let's go through the array of colors I know it's a lot but as you can see it really does have a lot of colors in there and that's what makes it stand out so for the background there's the coffee latte and the parchment by artist loft and one this one is by folk art and for the main colors we have Old Gold by Artist Loft, Copper by Liquitex, Artist Loft Metallic Bronze, Metallic Orange, Cobalt Blue, Metallic Purple. And then we have our Black, and the Red is by Simply Acrylic, Real Blue by Apple Barrel, Bamini Blue, and Sweet Potato and Light Yellow by Apple Barrel and some Folk Art Metallic Blue. One thing I recommend is using a lot of bold colors, ones that are going to really stand out. So let's get started. Little white around the edges right here and then back here but the horse is going to be out here, so I don't have to worry about it too much. And then a little bit of the parchment color out there. A little bit here. It doesn't have to be exact. So I sped this part up because, I mean, you pretty much know how to paint a background on a canvas. And so I did the coffee latte on the first background and then I came back over it with the white because the coffee latte was way too dark. So I made sure to come back over it with some nice white and that way the horse had some really nice contrast. It's time for the paint mix. I'm gonna set the hair dryer on it. It'll be noisy, but that's okay. So now to the paint mixing. I just want to get a couple of the paint mixes going on here so I can show you the mix. So like the copper, the old gold, these metallics, the cobalt blue, I'm not going to mix them with the flow troll and all that. 
I'm just gonna scoop them on in certain areas like the orange we will want to have just a little bit of flow trawl in there and get some of the orange out The reason why I'm putting the Floetrol in here, which Floetrol is a paint conditioner, but the reason why I'm doing that is see how thick this paint is? It's not going to blow dry across and make those streaks unless it's runny. So we're going to want a pretty good chunk of Floetrol in there. It's still not that runny, so just a hair of distilled water. We don't want it too runny, but we want it perfect. Okay, perf. Next colors. Got some real blue going on. This black, I'm going to have some black in here. And I'm going to scoop off of this but I'm also going to have some black in here. This is going to be so much fun. I mean, seriously, that last horse was so much fun. I'm like, ah, why didn't I record the whole thing? Sometimes I admit I get a little bit more creative when I'm off the camera just because I'm not as nervous. Not that I'm really nervous on the camera. You're just you're trying to think of stuff to say and all that. So that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. These aren't the best mixing cups but I like them and all these paints are gloss none of them are matte finish they're gloss and you don't want it to crack on you because crack kills red I know I'll definitely need it is getting hot in here I'm gonna have to open up that window it's like 24 degrees outside or oh you know what it's maybe it's it's warmer than that no wonder Okay, we got a bunch of colors going already. This color I can go and mix up in here. This uh, sweet potato. Excuse me. Oh, what the heck, let's go ahead and do some yellow in there. We're not going to use that much of the yellow, but... That mixes up really nice. 
Okay. All right, so then I'm gonna make sure that's dry, come back, and we'll start the horse. Okay, here we go. It's time to rock and roll. But first, I'm gonna start out just kind of eyeballing with some black. Just gonna make some ears here. The head. You can just kind of keep filling in and filling in. I don't want that to be too thin because I want this to be able to dry fast. about getting too much black on there because there's going to be a lot of colors on top. You do want to make sure you get it on the side here. Where there's going to be color running over there too. Get a little on your finger, just wipe it right off. As you can see, the original horse that I did looks more like a horse. The one that I'm working on now looks more like a donkey or a jackass. You kind of want to get this right because it's the whole lead up to your other colors. All right, let's go ahead and do some colors. We'll start out with some old gold here. We'll just swoosh that on, get it going on. And really, there's no rhyme or reason to where things are. Just put it on. Now you don't want to get too crazy with it, of course. But I'm going to do a little eye right there. That's probably plenty of the gold that I need to do. Let's 
Pure blue. Blues are my favorite colors. If you haven't figured that out. So what's weird is when you're first starting this, it it's like, oh, am I screwing things up or what's going on here? But you're not. You're being awesome. Is what you're doing. So see how I'm just dashing a little bit of this blue in here because it's kind of what I did there a little bit. Dashing through the snow on a one horse open sleigh. Excuse me. And you can kind of get some of those colors mixed a little bit if you want to. I mean, heck, it's just going to be awesome. Why don't I just run it? That's what I do. Just run it, baby. Run it. Get a little red in here going. So there will be a little streak of the neckline coming out. that eye just like it is right there. Okay. Go for the metallic bronze. Whoa, easy now. Not quite did it that way. But... We're going to come back and do the main part. Beautiful. 
Gonna hit that back drop. here it is I spent a lot of time on this one maybe like two hours so I'm out in the garage as you can tell and going to put on some seal coat on the horse and I will get down here and shake up the old can first and this is Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch two times Ultra Recover Gloss Clear. It seals, it protects, and it revitalizes. Oh yeah. Talk to me. Okay, so I'm going to try and hold the camera like this so you can see what goes on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. First, I needed to make sure the signature didn't run so I was gonna do a tack coat okay looks appears to be okay come on baby don't run on me okay that appears to be alright I had some sharpie ink earlier um, a few days ago and it ran and bled like crazy okay so here we go I'm already running out of this spray See that or not? This spray kind of likes to beat up a little bit, but then it lays down flat, nice and flat. Whew, it's strong. I won't be able to stay out here for very long at all. Getting ready to run. Okay. Oh, that's beautimous. Beautimous. Look at that. I know what you're thinking. Oh, I could never do anything like that. Yes, you can. You totally can. If I can, you can. I really just started from a horse outline and just started painting. And the hairdryer thing, that was a complete accident. I was trying to dry out some of the paint and some of this paint down here flew back and I was like, hey, this looks pretty cool. So you can totally do this. Just start it and you will love it. If you mess up, big deal. Just start over. I had to do that on one. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for watching.